guys, I'm Tina. Welcome back to Well and Tasty. In today's video, we're making some chicken wings. When it comes to restaurant style chicken wings, it's usually fried. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get that same quality of chicken wings, but baked. So it's a little bit more healthy. Now, if you're hosting a Super Bowl or maybe a game night, or you just want some chicken wings, this video is for you. But before we get in, let's talk about one of the first secret ingredients. So this is Akabanga oil. Um, I am married to an East African, and so this is my East African connection. Um, this oil is amazing. Akabanga oil is from Rwanda. It's a Rwandan chili oil and it's packed with flavors, but very hot. So if you like heat, trust me, you are going to love this. And the cool thing is that you can buy this online so you can have a little bit of Rwanda in your homes. I would definitely recommend it. And so I will be using this in today's recipe. Now we need to watch the video for the second ingredient. So let's just get started. We're gonna mix our spice blend by combining onion powder, garlic powder, cumin, smoked paprika, herb de Provence, and for the second secret ingredient, we have some baking powder. There is a scientific reason for this, but I'm not getting into that. But trust me, let me summarize by just saying that it causes this chemical reaction that gives that same deep fried texture that we are going for. Now we're just gonna season those chicken wings with some salt, and pepper and then add in the spice blend that we made earlier just toss that chicken and all that spice blend till it's well coated next we're going to line a baking tray with some aluminum and place a baking rack over it then transfer the chicken wings to the rack having the chicken wings elevated like this will promote even cooking and make the wings even more crispy which is gonna bake the wings at 425 degrees Fahrenheit You want to then go in and flip the chicken wings every 15 to 20 minutes or so. The chicken will start to look pasty and even powdery, but as it cooks, it's gonna release its own oils and only get more golden and crispy. After about 50 to 60 minutes, you are rewarded with this incredible chicken. The skin is dry and crispy, almost like it was deep fried. I find that if eaten naked as is, you still get little hints of baking powder, but when mixed in a sauce, the baking powder taste disappears. So for our spicy barbecue sauce, we're just gonna mix some barbecue sauce and a few drops of that Akabango oil. Remember this is really hot, so go easy and just use a few drops. Then you're just gonna toss your chicken wings into that barbecue sauce um, chili oil combination and make sure that it's well coated. Then you can just serve it up and enjoy. These are perfect wings for any game day or even hosting friends over or just for yourself. They're really that good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe for even more videos and I will see you in my next one. Take care guys, bye.